can we take like two seconds to appreciate how horrible of an angle this is? Look at that chin. I mean, I used to, whew, I used to look like this all the time. Just fat as, as uh, I can't say that word. What's going on YouTube? Another video coming your way today. This one is gonna be a full day of eating. Everything that I eat is gonna go on this video. So hopefully I make it a little interesting and I don't just record every little piece of food that I eat, but that's the plan. I have no idea. I don't I don't have like a strict diet or anything, so at this point in time, I have no idea what I'm eating at all ever today. Every meal, every snack, every That's pretty much it. Every meal, every snack be recorded. We'll add them all up. See how many calories I eat. I don't I don't know. The last few days I've been I've been sitting around three to four thousand calories. It's not good. I mean I'm working out twice a day, but that's a lot of calories. My uh my limit is supposed to be twenty five hundred. So I've been five hundred to fifteen hundred over every day. Hopefully working out twice a day equals that it levels that out. But fifteen hundred calories is kind of a big difference and I don't think I burn that much. Okay, this didn't take long. It's 8.30 in the morning. Normally, normally I wake up at 6.30, get up at 7, get out the door and like to the gym. I leave here about 7.30ish, work out, train someone at 9. So I get like 45 minutes to an hour-ish, maybe a little more depending on how fast I get out the door to work out. Today, I don't have anybody at all in the morning. I am literally free until 3 p.m and I don't know what to do with myself, so I'm going to the gym to do who knows what. I mean, it's, I already did legs, chest, shoulders, back, and this session is supposed to be like rest or abs or something, but I'm supposed to be doing abs tonight with Keaton, so I don't know what to do right now. But I'm just going, because what else is there to do? Anyways, uh, food, food. What I eat in a day. Starting off, I walk downstairs. There's this amazing package of frosted sugar cookies that I may or may not have eaten four of last night. So that's about 160, I think, for one of these. Good way to start the day, good breakfast. So yesterday I just ran out of the Ronnie Coleman pre-workout. R.I.P. We'll never buy it again unless it's on sale for $10 again. It just wasn't, I don't know. It seemed kind of weird. So, I'm going to bust out this new, brand new, and it's not, it's brand new to me, it's not a new product. C4, just regular. I can't take the extreme stuff in the morning, it just, I don't know. I still have the extreme stuff for the afternoon sessions. I started that later, so it's still kind of, it's like half full probably. So I got... Just regular C4, cherry, limeade. I don't know if you can even see that. Doesn't matter, it's cherry limeade. And I'm gonna throw it in the C4 shaker cup. Link in the description below for all Cellucor products. Hashtag sellout. Okay, update, just open this up. And it's all, it's as hard as a rock. The seal must have been like, cracked or something. I don't. I say if the seal's cracked, you're not supposed to, like, use it, but I think I'm okay, right? I mean, it's just gonna be chunky. Nobody put anything in it, right? Like, I'm not gonna die if I take this? We'll see. Okay, we're gonna try this camera angle and see if it works. You're currently sitting on the dash of my car on a little sticky pad. It's not too sticky. The camera still moves, so... You might fall. Okay, so I've tried this before, and the camera would fall, and I would set it back up and try to continue. If the camera falls even once, I'm not setting this back up. I will stop the recording, wait till I get to a stop, and then just do it by hand. Or I guess I could just set it there. As long as they're not moving, it's not going to fall. But it's not a grip. It's not a great angle, but it works. So, I. This is like a day of eating kind of thing, but 
I really want to stress like a good diet. Like I don't, I have a terrible diet. It's not good at all. Like I don't know the last time I ate a fruit or a vegetable that wasn't in like, like fruit snack shaped form. Like it, obviously it's not a fruit or vegetable, but it's shaped like it. But I just went and did 30 minutes on the treadmill, 3% incline, three miles an hour, 30 minutes. I burned 140 calories according to the treadmill. But you know, my, my body's a machine, so I'm sure I burn more than that, you know. Anyways, 140 calories. That cookie I ate this morning was 160 calories. So I just did 30 minutes of walking in place and I didn't even burn off that cookie. That's how crazy your diet can be. Like, you could do cardio all day long if you want, but if you have a terrible diet, it's, it's not gonna cancel it out. Like, you're gonna be in the hole. And I understand your body, your, you have your BMR, your basal metabolic rate, which is how many calories you burn every day just for being alive. And like your body just burns those calories regardless of if you're active or not. And I mean, that's a baseline, but at the end of the day, if you're eating way more than that and then trying to burn it off through exercise, it's just not gonna work. Like, I truly believe, like, I am genetically gifted in the way that I can lose weight or, I don't know, gain weight. I guess I can shift weight. Like, in high school, my freshman year of high school, I was 200 and maybe 10 pounds. My senior year of high school, I was 280 pounds. Like, skyrocketed weight there. And after that, you know, I sat around 300 for a while. And then, all of a sudden, within a year, you know, a year and a half, two years, down to 150. Another year and a half, or a year, I'm down to 200. And, like, very little of that was because of diet. Like, most of it was just because I started, like, heavily exercising, and that's just not the case for most people. And that is the hardest thing to try to relay to people when they say, oh man, you lost so much weight, like, how do I do it? Or how, how did you do it? It's like, I don't know. Oh, squirrel, squirrel, go! Okay, he made it. I didn't hit him. Anyways. What I'm trying to say is, you cannot out-train a shitty diet unless you are just, like, God-given gift. Like, I I guess I don't eat, late, lately I have been. Normally, I don't eat a lot of calories. It's just the calories that I do eat are not good calories. Like, it's just crap food. As you will see in today's video, like, it's just junk and somehow my body can just use that as energy and store it where it needs to go, use it how it needs to use it, and somehow I come out on top. But like nine times out of 10, maybe not even like 99 out of 100 times, that's not gonna happen. You're, you're, if you eat the way that I eat, you're going to gain weight. I guess I kind of fall into the category of I don't know where I fall, I guess, because I feel like I can be that skinny kid that eats like everything in sight and yet he can't gain a pound. And I've also been that fat kid that like, I don't want to say the fat kid that barely ate anything and still gained weight because I was making taco, or not taco, I was making pizza quesadillas. That is where you take a frozen pizza and you take another frozen pizza and you flip it on top and now you got a pizza quesadilla and you eat the entire thing. Two frozen pizzas in one sitting, like it was nothing. So obviously I understand why I got fat, like it was that and the combination of constantly, you know, going, you know, with friends to restaurants and stuff like that and just ordering a bunch of food because I was hungry. I felt like I could eat that, I did eat that and it was just the way that it was and 
uh, it hurt me, I guess. I don't want to say it hurt me. It just made me fat. Because I don't want to say, like, I was depressed because I was fat. And I don't want to say being fat was terrible. I mean, like, sure, you couldn't, like, run a mile very well. But at the end of the day, I never needed to run a mile. So it didn't affect me at all. Just diet. Find a plan. Do it. Like, just eat healthy. Don't do everything you're about to see in the rest of this video. Thank you for this public service. This has been a public service announcement and uh, it's been a lot of stuttering. There might be a lot of uh, cuts or maybe I'm just gonna let all the stumbling and stuttering stay in. Cause that's just, that's the raw footage, man. That's just how it is. That's how, I'm, how my mind's working. I can't process all these words and say them all out at the same time. And sometimes there's nothing happening up there and I have to improvise and throw words out there just so it doesn't look like I'm just sitting here doing nothing. Okay, on to the inside. Okay, it's like 10.30, and that's like a terrible time for like food, because it's like, do you eat breakfast? Do you wait for lunch? So I am simply going to have one of these. I've already went on a rant about them before, so no need to continue to talk about them. So that, uh, I do it with eight ounces of milk. I accidentally poured 12 ounces, so I drank four ounces. So 12 ounces of milk, one of these packs, number is going to be on the screen in one of these corners. Okay, I already posted this on the Instagram story, but maybe you don't follow at m.doug71, but look at how crooked this t-shirt is. Like, like here's a nipple, here's a nipple. Space, very little space. Like I'm pretty much touching the number, or the letter at the same time. The N is all the way down here, the Y is all the way up here. And then the two's over here, like, belly button right here. This is my belly button. The two is over top of the belly button, and the seven is all the way over here. Like, I don't know if I have my shirt, I'm just wearing the shirt wrong. No, it's crooked. It, that's crooked. For lunch, we are having the TGI Friday's Boneless Chicken Bites Honey Barbecue, the only way to go. Look at that. Beautiful honey barbecue sauce floating around, getting all defrosted. Solid lunch. Also, there's a huge debate between is a boneless wing really a wing or is it just a big chicken nugget? And I'm here to tell you, it doesn't matter. They're better. It's better without the bone in there. Don't even fight me about it. Don't leave a hateful comment down below saying you're crazy because it's true. Why waste space with a bone when you can take up that space with more chicken, it just makes sense. Think about it. Think about it. It doesn't matter if it's a wing or not. It is a giant piece of chicken with nice crumbly breading on top. And that's all that matters. I mean, it is Halloween and I'm getting a little bored waiting for these to cook, so... Is it just Snickers and Milky? Oh, that's fine. That's cool. I'll only just take two. That's only this right here. I believe is 160 calories just for two little bars and voila look at that beautiful just like you'd get in the restaurant just call me chef Matt because I can put stuff together from a frozen box okay this is where eating gets a little tricky because I go to Aquin at 3 o'clock till like 4 30 ish and then I have to go to the Y after that. So it's like, I don't have time for a meal anywhere. So I find something small to eat, which today is probably gonna be one of those sugar cookies and maybe a couple pieces of candy. Super nutritious, I know. And then I'll come back and then we'll find out what I eat then, but it's probably just gonna be the same thing. Maybe like a granola bar or something just so I'm not starving when I go through my late night workout, my nighttime workout. So let's uh, put the calories on the screen for, let's go one cookie, two pieces of candy. That's bumping us up. We're over halfway to our, what we should be recommended calories. And dinner is always the biggest meal of the day. So 
we're, we're gonna break it. Let's see how by le, ah, Let's see by how much. So I am recording this on my phone and this is like a creepy looking, oh man. This is like, I feel like I'm in a scary movie. Something's about to just happen to me, man. What, what's the one, uh, Cloverfield? Or it's just like all just like this. They're all just like looking around. Oh my God, oh, what was that? Anyways, update on the meal thing. It is post-workout. Before the workout, I had another cookie. Of course, I was told to drive through somewhere for dinner because my family ate McDonald's. So I'll probably go to McDonald's and I'll probably get a quarter. Let's be honest. I'll get, I'm going to get a double quarter pounder with cheese meal. So that's the double quarter pounder with cheese and the fries and a Diet Coke because I'm not a fat ass. <laughs> Drove to McDonald's and the line was like to the street, like both lanes backed up all the way to the street. I guess Halloween is super popular to go to McDonald's because I guess, I don't know, go out to eat or drive through somewhere because McDonald's is packed. I drive down the street thinking, okay, I'll just get some Little Caesars, you know, hot and ready. No, the entire lobby of Little Caesars is packed. You know what that means? I get to drive like 10 minutes all the way across town so I can get to other restaurants. I pull up to the other McDonald's. It's also all the way out like McDonald's is popping, I guess. Finally, I drive over Burger King, one car in the entire lot. So, we're having Burger King, not McDonald's. Getting two double cheeseburgers, a 10-piece nugget, and a Diet Coke. You know, one car in the drive-thru, and yet it's still taking just as long as McDonald's would have taken. Awesome. I take back what I said. I got to the window at Burger King, they took my credit card, handed it back, handed me my drink, handed me my food, like, instantly. Easy peasy, let's go eat. Just, whatever you do, don't drive after you've consumed C4 Extreme, and like, while it's still coursing through your veins, because I just, I just feel like it was a little intense. I feel like I was just, I don't know, road rage is real. Like, I don't get, I kind of get road rage. I don't normally get road rage, but everybody was just, mm! it's like driving, I don't know, maybe it's because the front end of my car looks like a cop car, so everybody just starts driving 25 miles an hour everywhere they go, no matter, like, <sighs> made it home, it's okay, we're just going to get some food gonna be happy again we're gonna play some call of duty it's gonna be all right ah 